What is up, party people? I have some very important news to share today. Maybe disappointing to some. Uh, but I am not going to be opening any box Pokemon material. I'm just going to open my mail. I ordered a bunch of cards off of TCG Player and eBay, and I'm just going to open it. I've done two of these kinds of episodes before, uh, where I open my mail, packages, you know, plush, whatever. Uh, and I decided to do one again because I bought a bunch of Pokemon cards. Well, obviously, I bought a bunch of cards, um... Most of what I'm missing from the Pokemon Go set, I just, I, I didn't want to accrue any more doubles, so I just uh, bought the cards that I needed separately. Uh, and I got a lot of pieces of mail. A lot. It was honestly fucking great, because I would get home from work and there would just be like three or four envelopes there, and it's like, I never get mail, good mail. So... It was great. It's a great experience getting that much, uh, that many Pokemon cards separately in the mail. I'm gonna have to do that again soon. Cause I'm missing a lot of cards, man. All right, let's get into it because, like I said, there are a lot of pieces of mail here. Uh, I tore them all open. I tore them all open just for uh, sake of time. But I didn't check out what was inside, because I wanted to be surprised along with you guys and gals. Uh, we got Spark from the Pokemon Go set. Hello. Spark from the Pokemon Go set. There you go. I, uh, this one took the longest to get to me, uh, in the mail. I think uh, the seller took their damn time uh, shipping it out. It wasn't marked as shipped for like two days after I bought it. What's next? Dragonite V from Pokemon Go. Let's tug that guy out of there. Ooh, no, uh, there's no penny sleeve or anything. Oh yeah, there is. It's very tight, Japanese style. There you go. So there's Dragonite V in all its glory. Gonna keep moving on. A lot of mail today, folks. Oh, yes. Ooh, hell yeah. Mel Metal V. I have wanted this card since I first saw it. And it is a beauty. Mel Metal V for that camera. That camera. Uh, yeah, the colors on this thing are amazing. Let's see if I could open it up real quick and we could get a better view of it. Look, Gidoki. It's packaged well. I should probably shout out who I'm uh, buying these from, shouldn't I? I'm gonna leave it in its penny sleeve, but you get the gist of it. The On the camera, it looks a little bit, uh on the cyan side, you know, on a, on a, on the cooler side, but in IRL, the background looks very, like, it's reddish orange, but it's very deep, and, uh, I love this card. Uh, let's see, who did that come from? Pluto, SCO, on eBay. I don't know if that's cool to be doing that, but I mean, I assume they want the business. This whole pile is from eBay. I separated the eBay pile from the TCG player pile so I could leave feedback accordingly without getting confused. We have a Glaceon EX here. From what set, I don't recall. From what set, I don't recall. Uh, what set is that? Is that, um... The one with Alakazam. Fates Collide? Is that Fates Collide? This Glaceon is very weird. It, uh... It looks very toonish and cute, like a Disney princess. Which I like, I guess I'm just not 
used to seeing such cute artwork on an EX card. So it's thrown me off a little bit. But uh, it's very cute. And I appreciate it for its cuteness. That's that. Oh, did I say who? Jeez Louise, I'm losing track, whatever. Alright, what do we have here? Melmetal VMAX! Wow, I got a lot of Melmetal. I got the Melmetal that I just uh, tugged. And I got uh, this Melmetal, and I got three other Melmetal. However, uh, I ordered this one individually, and then I saw a lot of three Mel Metals. Uh, we'll get to them later because they're in this pile. They should be. Uh, I don't know. I requested a uh, refund from this guy because I was like, oh, well, I just bought this set of three cards. I might as well try to refund it. You know, he probably won't, but I'll try. And uh, he uh, refused it because it said that it was shipped already, but I literally messaged him like a minute after I bought it, so like he hasn't even touched the card yet. And like, it's fine, like, he, he's not obligated to, they, they're not obligated to issue me a refund for any reason. And if it truly did ship out after a minute, then I totally understand that too. But, you know, that just comes down to who people are, you know? Why is this not focusing? I told you I would always bring up focusing issues in my episodes. Am I talking very low tonight? I'm talking... I feel like I'm very... T very? I feel like I'm talking very low. I need a drink. Shout out to last video. Limonada. So yeah, there's Mel Metal VMAX and my little story about my eBay escapades. <laughs> you know what I have in here tonight? I have Agave Nectar. Jeez, hold on. Agave Nectar, Raspberry Seltzer, Angostura Bitters, Lemon Juice, like an ounce of lemon juice, a lot of lemon juice. Uh, and just shook it up in a shaker and poured it over ice, and it's freaking amazing. Been carrying this around with me. Shout out NBC. Sponsor me. I'm a disgusting man. Shout out NBC LX. They gave me some graphic design work to do, and I got this, uh, this out of it, and some money. But that thing is awesome. It keeps all your stuff, like, super hot or super cool without fail for a very long time. Like, I've lasted off of one of those for, like, three days, maybe, and it did not change temperature. We have a secret note here. This is from ERT underscore, underscore collectibles. I'm really hoping there's a, some kind of writing on here. Well, let's see. Let's see the paper first, because, uh, that's kind of a bummer. I, uh, I was hoping for some kind of a message on here, or like, a, like, hi, how are you? Thank you for the card purchase, or, it's just a piece of paper, but who did I get? Conkolder V. There we go, look at that. Pokemon Go set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the only uh, non ultra secret rare whatever uh, that I didn't have, my only regular card that I didn't have was the Spark I opened earlier. Other than that, I just have to buy all of the secret rares and whatnot. Why am I uh, showing that? I don't know. This is from Skinny Pupper on eBay. Shout out Skinny Popper. We got this uh, fancy little card jacket that it's in. What could it be? Oh, it's a Golem EX. That's an older guy. That's from the uh, 20th anniversary card set, or no? 
The card set with the uh, the Radiant Collection at the end with all the Evolutions and the Sylveons and the Pikachus from that set. I believe. Yeah, that set I'm only missing a couple cards, so I was like, whatever, I'll go for the gold. Um, go golem. I'll go for the golem. Let's see. Ooh, this is a big one. We got a big package here. Sorry for the focusing issues. I feel like I'm talking so low. I don't like shouting, but like I gotta, you know, shout a little bit just to like for enthusiasm. What do we got in this fucking thing, man? Oh, Professor's Research Rainbow Secret Rare. I don't know if that's the right terminology, but it's a rainbow professor's research. I'm not gonna take it off that card just yet. Because uh, I want to get through more of these. We've got... I keep almost showing addresses. I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know who this is from. I mean, it's from someone named Kip, but it doesn't show their eBay name, so obviously I'm not giving out their information. Whoever it is, I ordered three cards from them. These are the Mel Metal, the aforementioned Mel Metal. This is the one that I have doubles of now. Uh, the Rainbow. Rainbow V Max, um, Mel Metal V. I got these for a very good price for the three of them. Okay, that was uh, the eBay pile. I'm gonna get onto the TCG player pile. These should be uh, interesting, but also like I might have gotten just a few common and uncommon cards that I didn't have. What is this? Oh, Conkledur V from the Pokemon Go set, as you can see right there on the card. Can you guys hear my dog barking? So do I, every day, every second of my life. TCGplayer.com TCGplayer.com Full art UP 78 out of 78 I don't, Did they have to write that on there? I mean, I guess for their own purposes but uh, I don't, it feels like there's two cards in here though Professor's Research Yeah, and a Blastoise Look at that Professor's Research Blastoise. That's not on the card, is it? No, it's not. Okay. That would have been ridiculous. Why would somebody write on the card? Hmm. Order info. That was weird. Something with the camera. Doesn't say the company name. It's not from TCG Player Direct. It's from a rando, a random seller. <clears throat> okay. Oh, King's Games. King's Games on TCG Player and I presume other places. I don't know who they are or what it is, but look it up. They package my cards nice and safe, which is all I could really ask for. Ooh, ooh, a Radiant Venusaur. Damn. God damn. It feels like there's another card in here, too. I definitely ordered a couple cards from different people. I mean, uh, multiple cards from multiple people. Whatever. Shut up. Shut up, Ed. Magby. You dumb shit. Uh, no, there's one card in here, but it's a Radiant Venusaur, and that is beautiful, and not in focus. Okay. You saw it before, it's fine. Multiverse Games, Burlington, North Carolina. Evolve Trading Cards, Columbus, Ohio. Okay, we got a Kingdra EX. 
Kind of random, kind of random. Come on now, could you please focus for, for fuck's sake, for the love of fucking Christ, for the love of, for the love of fucking Christ, can you fucking focus? Thank you. Mm. We got a Kingdra EX, that I think is also from Fates Collide, or one of the sets from around then with the break cards. I think Fates Collide though, I'm pretty sure it's Fates Collide. Pretty sure. Hey, 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 Duffy's Collectibles, Truman, Minnesota. Another Venusaur, just a regular Venusaur. All right, cool. Wait. Nope, nothing else in there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm not gonna say that person's name because it looks like their Christian name. An Executor V. I don't know if there's something else in here. Let me, let me take a look here. It might just be because it's in this uh, Mewtwo sleeve, which is pretty cool. I am happy to have the Mewtwo sleeve. It'll be the only one that I have, and I'll treasure it forever. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh my god. Why, why is this such... A difficult process. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's gonna be nothing else in here. Very well packed though. Oh, it's in a penny sleeve in another sleeve. Oh, there are two cards! A Conkle Derby! Look at that! Sweet! From Pokemon Go again. Can't wait to put these in my binder! Now I can't get them back in this sleeve. Calm down, calm down, man. Calm down, you cards, with your fucking sleeves. There's a butterfly stamp on this one. Black Rooster Gaming, Champaign, Illinois. It's a Lapras. A Lapras from Pokemon Go. And... There's definitely something else in here. It is very thick. A Lapras and an Alolan Raticate. See, I told you I needed just some stupid cards, and I was, I'm never gonna buy a pack of these again. Too many duplicates, man. I can't take them anymore. I made a donation, which I mentioned in my last video. Just because I had so many duplicates and somebody was reaching out on Facebook for Pokemon card donations. And they said that they didn't want anything rare or anything. They just wanted to get Pokemon cards for a school for kids to mess around with. And I put together bundles and stuff and uh, the guy was really great and I'm happy for what they're doing there. If I could ever get like permission from the dude to mention their names, I'll totally put them on blast on YouTube. We have a Mewtwo V and a Radiant Blastoise, hell yeah. Fucking beautiful. The cut on that is so good, too. Like, they don't skimp on the cuts. And these are all, like, most of the stuff from TCG Player is graded as lightly played. Like, this looks, uh, like, yeah, not perfect, but it's definitely, like, near mint. Mewtwo V? There's Mewtwo V. Got a couple more here, folks. Oh, no, the envelope is torn. Let me see if I can find their name on uh, my order slip. Yeti Gaming. Yeti Gaming. Did I mention them already? I feel like I did, or I feel like I got multiple orders from them. Uh, we got uh, <laughs> an Omastar Break. An Omastar Break. Absolutely don't need it, but I need it in my binder. Otherwise, 
I don't need this at all. It's ugly, the mechanic is weird, and it's just like a rock solid Omastar. It's fucking weird, but I need it in my collection. Man, I'm so glad I'm gross and didn't cut my nails this uh, past few days, because, like, it's making it so much easier to open shit. TQ Gaming, Austin, Texas. Let's see, a Delphox. Also from Fates Collide? Holographic Delphox from possibly Fates Collide. I'm just gonna say Fates Collide for the rest of the video if it ever comes up, because... Oh, look at this cool thing that they put it inside. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I forgot about this. Tear the tab. It's pretty sick. Pretty, pretty sick. Sorry, I'm reading the back of this. Really cool. And finally, we have... TCG Player Direct. Let's, I don't know how many cards are in here, but we're gonna fucking find out. Together. Together! If I could get it open, ha ha ha. I would be doing this on camera, but like, I know I'll accidentally show my address, and I just don't want that. Plus, you guys believe me, right? There's a pile of cards in here. Let's see what we got. Wah! 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 TCG Player Direct. Okay, I just spoiled myself. I looked at my order form, and now I know, like, half the shit that I have. These are probably gonna all be commons, uncommons, maybe some rares, hollow rares or something. Zoop, zoop, zoopity doop. Now I see some good shit in the back there. Lots of good shit. TCG player, scan to learn more. Too bad you can't scan it, because you can't see it. A Barbarical from Fates Collide. Oh, it has to be Fates Collide. That's why I was going through... I was going through Fates Collide to see what cards I was missing. So it makes sense that I'd order cards from it. Helix Fossil, Ammonite, Lucario, looks like these, all, all these beginner ones, maybe the rest of them even are, uh, fucking what's it called? The set that I just mentioned two seconds ago. Uh, Team Rocket's Handiwork. I had no idea this card existed until I went to order it, and it's a really cool card with great artwork. An Aerodactyl. A Delphox. Oh, I'm sorry, a Brakeson. Altaria EX. Beautiful artwork. I love the gold with uh, with Altaria's colors. The blue and just the, the majestic clouds. Oh, great. More break cards. Cool. We got a Bronzong break. Delphox break. Kind of cool. I love Delphox. Regirock EX. Try and get that one in focus for you. No? Okay. Now Kazam EX. There we go. I got the sweet spot. Altaria EX. Fucking Carbink. Break. Got a lot of shit back here. All Fates Collide, I guess. Yeah, I have, um. I gotta break out Fates Collide after the video and add on at the end, uh. Some of the shit that I have from that set. I got a lot of cards from Fates Collide. This card, this card I was the most excited about to get. Like I said, I had no idea this card existed in this form or its uncommon form, but this thing, this thing is just the best. The texture on here is out of this world. That wasn't a pun, or not a pun. Well, it, there we go. No, because it's Team Rocket out of this world. Oh yeah, that is a pun. No pun intended, honestly. Honestly and truly, that would have been a bad pun. 
and a bad, bad boy. Articuno, not EX or anything, just Articuno. That looks like that's from the earlier set. No? Okay. Oh, there you go. The earlier set, the uh, 20th anniversary set, maybe. Uh, last card, I think. What do we got? It looks nice. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's a jolt. Oh, no, we got another card. A fucking hollow rare Machamp. Wow, and a Jolteon EX, folks. That is all we got for the mailbag. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. I gotta go through my TCG Player account and see if I received all my cards. And then leave feedback for all of these people. What does this envelope say? I read that one already. Forgot to give out names. Sorry. Uh, Alright. All right, people, that's it. That's the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you're safe. I hope you're confident. Hope you're having a good day. Later. <laughs>